Hello, Pharma folks. Today is very important day for the pharmaceutical world of India. Today, India is celebrating its first ever good manufacturing practice day. Means first ever GMP day. If you haven't subscribed with us, please subscribe our video and click on the bell icon for such interesting videos. In today's video, uh, we are going to discuss about revised GMP and how it will be impactful for the Indian pharmaceutical industry. Now, IDMA means Indian Drugs uh, Manufacturer Association and government plan to celebrate this first ever National Current GMP Day on 10 October as the government and the industry itself focusing on the improving the quality of uh, many Indian drugs. So recently, if you all are aware that government of India has directed all pharmaceutical companies to implement the revised good manufacturing practices. Now the larger pharmaceutical companies which have turnover of uh, more than 250 crores have been asked to implement the changes within six months, while the medium and small scale enterprises with turnover of less than 250 crores have uh, given the time period of uh, one year. The GMP system was uh, first incorporated in India in 1988 in Schedule M of Drug and Cosmetic Rules. And the last amendment was done in June 2005. So WHO GMP standards are now part of revised schedule M. Now, this is uh, very important that we, we take pride of uh, 2000 pharmaceutical industries in the country are WHO GMP certified. But out of uh, means we have uh, around 10,500 of pharmaceutical units, drug pharmaceutical manufacturing units. So only 2,000 units are GMP certified, WHO GMP certified, and 8,500 drug manufacturing units are not the part of WHO GMP. So definitely, uh, recently we have seen some of the issues uh, for the medicines which are exported in the outer part of India. So for counter that, government of India is trying to implement a revised GMP into the country and they have already given ultimatum. And this ultimatum is started from August 1st of 2023. Now some industrial experts are suggesting that it will take at least three years for Indian pharmaceutical industry to adapt in this particular revised GMP environment. But still, uh, government of India is uh, positive that and mandate the industries that they should uh, go for this revised GMP as uh, soon possible as they can. Now, from the government data, it is known that in order to ensure quality of the products, PMBI procures medicine only from WHO GMP certified suppliers. And these medicines are sold at Jan Aushadi Kendras. Now, as you people are aware that more than 10,500 uh, Jan Aushadi Kendras are already started in the country and this uh, generic medicines use is growing day by day. And believe me, they are uh, saving thousands of crore rupees. So let's talk about a revised GMP in brief. We are not going in detail, but in briefs, we like to discuss about that on this particular day. The revised GMP guidelines focus on quality control measures, proper documentation, and IT backing to maintain quality of medicines produced. Now the major uh, different or how it will change the pharmaceutical industry, the major difference it will going to create are in, so first is in pharmaceutical quality system and risk management. 
Now, quality risk management is a systematic risk-based approach to uh, quality management. The process is uh, composed of assessment, control, communication, and review of quality risk. It also suggests a change control system to evaluate all changes that may affect production or quality of the product. The next is documentation. It is always a major problem for pharmaceutical industry, specifically Indian pharmaceutical industry, and these things is easily avoidable. Without proper documentation, regu regulator would not agree that steps were actually taken. The revised GMP looks to improve this. Now, next is stability studies. Companies are now required to conduct stability studies based on climate conditions. This involves maintaining a drug in stability chambers at specific uh, temperatures and humidity to access their stability over time. Additionally, uh, accelerated stability tests may be conducted to access the uh, product stability under the accelerated conditions. The next is computerized, uh, computerized system for GMP. Now it will be mandatory to use computerized system for GMP related processes. Computerized uh, based system promotes prevention of data uh, tampering, unauthorized access, even cloud-based data protection will be implemented to avoid data loss. Means backup of the data can be taken at cloud level. Next is clinical trials improvement. Now new uh, uh, Schedule M is also list out the requirement of additional type of products including uh, biological project products, agents with uh, radioactive ingredients or well, plant derived products. New schedule also lists in the requirement of investigational products being manufactured for clinical trials. In the conclusion of this video, I'm just suggesting that India has already taken a big step and moving towards uh, WHO GMP, which will be ensure the quality product, not only to the uh, export level, but also to the Indian population, which are consuming these medicines. Please like, share and subscribe with our channel. If you have any suggestions or query uh, regarding this uh, revised GMP day, please write in a comment box. We will answer that. And if you have any suggestions for us, definitely please uh, uh, write in the comment box. Thank you very much, folks. Jai Hind, Vande Matra. To get latest updates in pharmacy, subscribe to Pharma Tutors YouTube channel. Click on bell icon and don't miss our videos.